Hello, hello, Reinaldo. Good evening. I cannot hear you, man. Activate your microphone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? Uh, I am fine. Are you? I'm just great. Just great. Relax right now. Uh, I'm so relaxed, too. That's good. That's good. How was your day, mister? I have a nice day. Um, because the world is very relaxed. <laughs> um, in my house is relax because I have a, I was dinner. <laughs> uh, uh, you just have dinner? Yes. I just have dinner. I just have dinner, yeah. It is, I just have dinner. Excellent, excellent. So how was your day? Tell me, something new? Um, no, nothing new for for the moment. Just the same routine. Yeah, tomorrow I I going to a meeting. Oh really? Yeah, in the nine a.m. At nine. At, at nine. At nine a.m. Okay, tell me, are there meetings regularly in your company? Yes, are are many many meetings there are Be yes there they are. are very many okay because uh, in my department is uh, very technical oh uh, my partner good. are my partner well my partner were a uh, boss now no our boss boss but, but Jefes? Compañeros fueron jefes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But now uh, only the experiences uh, uh, practice in, they are, uh, vienen siendo como consultores, I don't say. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting, actually. So that means that, well, uh, to be a meeting sometimes is good. Yes, see, sí. yes. But sometimes, for me, meetings, uh, uh, they are kind of tedious. Okay. Because in my case, uh, the problem is this, I have different jobs. So um, I have, a, how do you say it? Sometimes I have a meeting from one of my jobs in the morning, I have another one in the afternoon, I have another one on weekend. Okay. It's, for me, it's complex when I get a meeting. And the word that you were telling me is consultant. 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 But they, my my partner, uh, are employment in the Dirección General de Aduanas. They are they are employees, or they are employed. 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 Okay. No. Only one partner yes. is a. Um, as, how do you say assessor? Is the same? Yeah. It's a yeah. It, it, it's assessor to the director. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Only one partner. That's a good position. Other partners are, are consultant. Okay. Interesting. Well, thank you very much, Reinaldo. Okay. Welcome to the class. Katia. Hello, Katia. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm um, just fine, just fine. How was your day, Katia? Tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? It was some um, hard because we we did general cleaning at the school. Oh, yeah, that's so hard. Every Monday. We have to do that because the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> the Monday, the children uh, don't attend. Okay. Attend. <laughs> don't attend. 
no assistem. Dona Ten had who? Dona Ten to classes. Okay. Because you have to do the cleaning. I, uh, My body is hard. So today you got your you got ready to work. Because I didn't I don't do exercise. Oh that's the problem. But today <laughs> that's the problem. You should do exercise. It's always because I, I don't like and I don't have time, but I like dance, uh, belly dance. Belly oh, dance. that's cool, yes. Is the only that's an exercise well yeah. you have you have to make time for exercise we have to make time because believe me i got i, I got know. one two three i got three different jobs Yo tengo tres trabajos, and i still try to make time for exercise so you have to do it you have to do it thank you kata <laughs> katia interesting talking to you today thank you teacher umberto hello mister how are you Oh, it's raining in your house. Cool. Here where I live, it's hot. You have to be careful when it rains. You have to look for the leaks. Cuando llueve, buscamos todas las leaks. Goteras. Don't see any you don't have. Oh. That's good. This day is it's looking. <laughs> well, thank you very much for being in the class, Humberto. I know that is hard, and thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, teacher. Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Hello, teacher. I fine. Okay. Good. Tell me, is it raining in your house, Elizabeth? No. No, it's not raining. Oh, that's nice. Well, no. is it hot? It hot. Yes. Yes. And the same as in my house, right here, it's hot today. Terrible. And tell me, Elizabeth. Terrible. Exactly. Yes. How was your day? Good. My day was um, boring. Boring. It was boring. Why? Um. I I not uh, drink. Um. Because drink. I'm sorry. I don't understand you. Porque no descansé o no dormí ahora. Oh, sleep. Sleep. I didn't sleep. Sleep. So you were sleepy. Anduvo somnolienta. Sleepy. Yes. And well, yeah, the same happened to me last night. I slept like three hours. It was too mm -hmm. hot. Exactly. Terrible. And it was too hot. But in my case, I cannot sleep during the day, even if I have time. Yo no puedo dormir, aunque, even if I have time. So, I'll, I will go to sleep tonight around 12 or 1 a.m. That's my normal time for going to sleep. Because, well, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you for being here in the class. Because, guys, today I'm going to go late to sleep. Hoy me iré tarde en la cama. Because I'm going to check your grades. Voy a revisar sus notas. I told you Mondays I'm going to be checking grades. So, remember, guys, we finished already section two. Terminamos la sección dos. And between today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, we are going to finish section three. Entre ahora y el miércoles terminamos sección tres. For Wednesday, you are supposed to have to finish the midterm. Para el miércoles, 
voy a estar revisando si hay things al midterm. So remember the, the job you do in the platform is pretty important. Try not to delay it. Tratemos de no atrasarlo. Because I'm going to start communicating with the ones who are like behind. Voy a comenzar a comunicarme con los que ya vienen atrasaditos to remind you about the activities that we have to perform. And remember, the activities from the platform are easy cheesy. Y las actividades son muy fáciles. So, please, remember, you need, we need to advance in the platform. Well, let's see. Basilia, hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. Tell me, Basilia, how's the weather in your house? Is it hot or um, it's fresh? In the moment, um, it's not raining, but uh, strong, truenos, strong. Oh, thunders. I, I hear a strong. Thunder. Thunder, I hear thunder. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Sometimes it affects the connection. Eso afecta las conexiones. Mm, sometimes, yes. Uh, where I live, right now, nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, I can see Next. some, I can oh, see right. some lighting. I can see some light. Puedo ver unos relámpagos, but so far away. I can see light. Yeah, but just I can see the light. I I don't listen the thunders. That's it. Wow. So they are far. Well, Basilia, tell me, have you finished the platform? Have you worked in the platform? Sorry. Yes, this day I was working and um, finished the military exam. Oh my gosh, you are a hell. Uh, tell me, <laughs> are there any doubts? I I have a problem in a little uh, exercise, but I come back and uh, see the videos. I can do it. I could. I could. I could. Do Remember I that could. you are talking about the past. Could. could. Okay, excellent. That's good. That's good. And remember, if you have any doubts, you can also contact me, okay? Yes. Help you out. Uh, it was the, easy. The other episode is easy. Okay, yes. excellent. Thank you very much. Yes. Let's see, let's see, let's see who else. Mr. Jose Lino, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am fine. Tell me, Jose, how was your day? It was a good day. Oh, really? Yes. Ooh. Tell me why. What did you do today? Um, nothing special, but I happy. Okay, nothing special, but you are happy. That's cool. That's the attitude, my friend. Yes. Attitude. And nothing special, but happy. Well, good. welcome to the class, mister. Thank you. Mr. Anderson. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Oh, a little tired. A little tired. Tell me, what time did you finish working today? I, I just started. Ooh. I think we're having problems with the connection, Anderson. But welcome to the class, Anderson. Yes. Let's what? see. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Uh, thank you, teacher. Vilma, hello Vilma. Vilma. Hello teacher. How are you miss? I'm fine teacher and you? I'm just great. Tell me how was your day? Um, i tired. You're tired, why? What time did you finish working today? I, my day was, um, very, um, oh, really? Lejos en días. Where did you go today? ¿A dónde fue ahora? Tell me. Talcoayua o Pico. Talcoayua. Oh, yes, I know that. I know there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's on the way to San Pablo Tacachico. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
I know. Very beautiful. Yes, actually, the street is nice. You see a lot of trees. Yes. La calle es muy bonita. Se ve muchísimos árboles. It's nice, but it's hot. Yes, it's very, very hot. Yeah, uh, I was working there like, uh, ooh, yo trabajé por ahí like uh, 17 years ago. <laughs> oh. Yeah, when I was, well, in the, that was the first public school, but I was working in San Pablo Tacachico. I remember it was a long time ago. I was very young. Era muy <laughs> joven. Okay. Well, thank you, Vilma. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Tamara, hello. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, miss? I am tired. <laughs> All right. Everybody's tired. Well, it's Monday. Mondays are like that. Everybody's like, oh, no, it's a Monday. Tell me, <laughs> what did you do today, Tamara? Um, in the hospital, my daughter is sick. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. Lamentamos mucho escuchar eso. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I am sorry to hear that. Well, let's hope. Let's hope he recovered. Let's hope he recovered soon. You can say like that, or you can say, let's hope he gets, gets better. Let's hope he gets better. Thank you very much, Miss. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I just got time to say hi to one more person. One more person. Let's see who, 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 who's gonna be. Karen, hello, Karen. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Tired. Oh. Yeah. Tell me, how was your day? Everybody's tired today. Yeah. A uh, little rain. Today. Oh, really? It's raining. Yes. Well, that's cool. So it's getting fresh. Um, no, little help. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. A lot of people is reporting that they are having problems with the rain. So it must be strong. Debe ser muy fuerte. Yes. Yeah, because in, yes. the, in the case of Humberto, I barely could hear him. Poquito le escuchaba yo. Well, thank you, Karen. Welcome to the class. Welcome, Harleen, Oscar, uh, Mr. Charlie. Today we are going to work with um, there is there are okay, but working with questions. Do you remember what is there is and there are? Acordamos que es there is and there are. Yes, it's very simple. Let me share something with you so we can like make just a pretty short review of there is and there are. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have. We have, there is, and also we have, there are. Now, both expressions actually means, for us in Spanish, they mean the same. They mean I. Both means exactly the same. We have there is, and we have there are. They both need the same. Now, what is the difference? Okay, the only difference is this, that one of them is used in singular and the other one is used in plural. That's the only difference between them two. So there is is used for singular and there are is used for plural, okay? So we say, oh, there is a problem, there is a student, or we say there are there are many students, there are two problems, there are two cars, you see? 
there are for plural, there is for singular. And we, in Spanish, we just use one word to represent that, and it's this one. So, I guess that's clear for you guys. Right? And eso estamos claro, ¿verdad? Yes? Okay. Now, we are going... Hello, Mario. Welcome. We are going to work today. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi. Today we are going to work with that, but we are going to start with the conversation. It's nice when we do the conversation practice because I can hear your pronunciation. So let me share with you the pronunciation from the platform. We are going to go to the platform. Remember, you can practice the pronunciation from there later on, on your own time. It's always good to keep on practicing. So let's get right straight into it. Let me see. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? There is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, let's analyze first the vocabulary. There are some on here. Okay, we have here. Excuse me, I, I'm your new neighbor. Neighbor, remember? Yeah, I just moved in. I just moved in. This means mudarse. Okay? And Mrs. Day says, oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Do you know what is a grocery store, guys? A grocery store is a store that says, sells food. Remember, just food. Okay? On a grocery, vende solamente comida. Okay? You can buy their vegetables. You can buy bread. You can buy milk. You can buy soda. Okay? You can buy perhaps meat. That's what you find in a grocery store. Let's continue with the vocabulary. Okay. And he says, are there any? Look, are there any? Alguna. This is any. When it's a question, it means alguno, alguna. Okay? Or algunos, alguna. That's the meaning of any in a question. Okay? We also use any in negative sentence. And in negatives, it means ninguna. Okay? So that's the meaning of any. So he asks, are there any around here? Yes. There are some. Algunos, algunas in affirmative. So. Any is used for negative and interrogative. Some is used for affirmative. Yes, there are some on time street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Look, a laundromat. He's got all his clothes. A laundromat is a place where you go and buy your and wash your clothes. Okay? So a laundromat, remember, is the place where you go, you get coins, you introduce the coins in the machine, you put all your clothes on the washer machine, and it gets washed. That's a laundromat, OK? 
Okay. Let's continue. Well, I think there's one across from, across from, I said, the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. And he has a barber shop. Let's listen one more time to it so you can be ready to come. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, guys. Well, right now, I'm going to divide you. You are going to have three minutes. Let's practice it, okay? Let me get you in group. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Three minutes. Carlos, they let you alone. Me lo dejaron solo. Sí. I'm going to move you to another group, okay? Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. I am a star. Prima. Okay. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on the Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Hello. Oscar, oh, we I cannot can... hear you. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Don't worry, Oscar. Don't worry. I'm going to do it with Emily and you can listen. You can listen to us. Si no escucha, okay. I'm going to do it with Emily and you can listen to us, right? Okay, Emily, are you ready? Eh, no, no sé qué vamos a hacer, teacher. Acabo de entrar. The pronunciation of the conversation. The conversation, teacher. Yes. ¿Me escucha? Yes. Ah, okay. The pronunciation este, está lloviendo fuerte. Yeah, I can hear it. So, Emily, you got the conversation? Okay. ¿Tiene la conversación? I send it to the group. Okay, sí. you can do it with Oscar. One minute. Solo un minuto tienen. Hurry up. <laughs> okay. Eh, la conversación en la que está en el grupo. Eh, yes, en uh, the WhatsApp group. 
Ya lo puso ahí en el grupo. Yes. Ok, es... Um... Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. Uh -huh. I am Jack. Yes. Me, I'm your neighbor. Ay, que aquí casi no se mira. I'm your Excuse new neighbor, me, uh... Jack. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. Neighbor. Yes. Excuse me, I'm, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. Are you moving in? Are you moving in? Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? A laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, there's barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, perfect. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's see, everybody's coming back. Let me check out who's in, still in there. There's just Elizabeth, Joselino, Reynaldo, and Vilma. Jose, Reynaldo, and Vilma. Okay, okay, just a second. I think almost everybody's here. I just have one group there. Okay, we are going to do the, prom the conversation. Let's see, guys. Uh, do you want me to share the, the, the conversation here? ¿Quieren que se las comparta acá? For the exercise? Yes, it works better for you? Okay, let's do it. Yes, teacher. Because we need to advance. We need to advance. Okay, let me see. Perfect. Here, and I need the list of the participants. I'm going to have it here. And let's see, the first two, Elizabeth and Emily. Elizabeth, you will start. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes, please, Elizabeth. Okay. Excuse me. Are you net? Are you new? Neighbor Jack, I just move, move it in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundry maid near her? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Well done. Just listen up, uh, Emily. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, where did you go, guys? Okay, Elizabeth, listen. Around here, around here. And around here. Near here, near here. Okay, just give me a second that I need to be taking notes. Solo un instante que necesito tomar nota de algo. Okay, just a little second, please, please, please. Hmm, where's my... Oh, right here. Okay, let's see Elizabeth and Emily. All right, did it. Now, Humberto and Joselino. Please. Teacher, okay, please you. repeat the pronunciation. Where? This one. Laundromat. Uh, Laundromat. Laundromat. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Joselino, you will start. Okay, teacher. 
Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I see there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, oops, I think we have a problem with the connection. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see, Karen and Reynaldo. Um, excuse me, I am, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some at Pine Street. Oh, good. Um, is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Perfect. Excellently done, guys. Thank you. Now let's see. Tamara and Jenny. Please, Tamara, you will start. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, perfect, ladies. Just remember, Tamara. And the first one, moved. I just moved in. Moved. We pronounce the just the D softly. Pronunciamos esta de suave. Moved in. Okay. Thank you, Anderson and Basilia. Please. Anderson, you will start. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And now let's see. Carlos and Helen. Yes. And Helen. I will be starting. Okay. Yes, please, Carlos, you start. Excuse me, I am your neighbor. I am your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some one time street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, Thanks. perfect. Thank you, both of you. Now, Katia and Mario Santiago, please. Mario, you will start. Excuse me. I'm your neighbor, Jack. 
I'm just moving in. Oh, yes. Move in. I'm looking for grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some, some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber a bar shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Now let's see, Oscar Aguilar and Vilma. Okay, excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Tree Street. Oh, good. And is there a lamp laundromat near here? Well, I think, I think they're on across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Just remember, Oscar, laundromat. Laundromat. Me trago ahí. Laundromat. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. You. Vilma, please remember street. Pine Street. Pine, Pine Street. Pine Street. And remember also, there's one. There's one, okay? There's one. Okay, perfect, excellent, guys. Now let's see, let's go to the next video from the platform. It's a little bit of explanation. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind, between, on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay, let's Very. see, let's see. The let's shop see. I'm sorry. Here, of course, the answer. Here. Okay, let's see. First off, is there a laundromat? Now, look, in the affirmative form, we have there is or there are. 
In the negative, we have there isn't or there aren't. In the interrogative, if you see, they just switch places. Para la interrogativa, solo cambian de lugar. Is there? Are there? Okay. You see? Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. Short answer. No, there isn't. Short answer. Long answer is an explanation. Remember, there's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Remember, one, because we are using the singular form. Now, in the next one, are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. Short answer. Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Some, algunas. Remember, no, there aren't. But there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any, ninguna, around here. Now, remember, on, when we refer to this street, we use on. Next to, al lado de, near, close to, across from. Okay, well, let's do it in another form. Okay, let's do it like this. When we say next to, it means that they are a side on a side of the other one. It's like if I'm saying, I'm sorry. It's like if I'm saying this, look, uh, in my screen, in my screen, in my pantalla, Katia is next to Mario. I got them both next to, okay? Now, I have, I am near or close to the camera. I am far from the camera. So near or close refers to a short distance, okay? Now, across from, I explained that already, right? Opposite is the same. If we have across from and we have opposite is exactly the same. Across from the opposite, the same, okay? Iguales. Hay cruzar o al lado opuesto. Okay. Now, let's see. The next one was in front of. Okay, guys. I am in front of you right now. Right? I am in front. We are facing each other. Okay. Next one will be in back. That one, we don't use it that much. We don't say in back of. We say behind. Esa de in back, it's not that common. No es tan usada. We mostly use behind, okay? Behind, that means atrás de. Next one would be uh, between. Now, between is very interesting, okay? Like right now in my screen, I am between Basilia and Oscar. I have Basilia here, me and Oscar, okay? But between refers specifically to between two, okay? There's one, two, and the one that is in between. The pro I am explaining this because in Spanish, we use the same word for two different situations. Nosotros en español utilizamos between to express this meaning. Uh, look in the chat, please. To express that. But in English, we also have among. In Spanish, we use entre when we refer to between two, cuando nos referimos entre dos, but also when we say entre varios, okay? O en medio de. It's the same meaning. Okay? So, ese en medio de, in English, will be among. Cuando se refiere a más de dos. Okay? And when it is just two, it's between. Am I clear? ¿Se entiende? It's like... Yes. Uh, yes. It's like this. Look, okay, let me see. Here, I got a marker, right? The marker is, right now, the marker is between these two 
stands. Está entre estos dos. But now, look. The marker is among. Está entre los lapiceros. En medio de. But some people in Spanish use the word. Algunas personas en español usan entre. Instead of saying in the, in the middle of. En lugar de decir en medio de. Ok. Or among. Got it? So you have to be careful. Now, let's see. Oscar, tell me, is there a bank near your house? Yes. Um, the there is, is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. The bank is. The bank is near in my, uh, in my house. Near my house. Near my house. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Katia, tell me. Are there any uh, are there any supermarkets near your house? No, there isn't. No, there aren't. Supermarket. Ah, sorry, there aren't. Okay, because my there. question was oh, yes, yes, yes. Was in plural. There. Or you can uh, say no, there isn't any. O puedo decirme no, there isn't any supermarket. Si me da la respuesta larga. Como es una explicación, you can say it in singular. But if it's the short one, remember I asked using the plural, are there any supermarkets? And you tell me, no, there aren't. Okay? Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Emily, tell me. Emily, hello. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Emily, are there any gyms near your house? No, there aren't. Okay. And where's your gym? My gym is near to to, to the church. Okay. Principal church or oh, main church. Main. Uh, main. Main church. church. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Basilia. Yes, teacher. Is there a market near your house? No, there is. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Oh, really? So you have to no. travel to go to the market? I, I travel, what do you say? Cuadras or blocks? Many blocks. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, I'm yes. so sorry. I'm so sorry to in hear this, that. In, in near for my house is the Pollo Campero. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Only that, Pollo Campero. Um, and gas station. Okay, excellent. It's excellent. To my oh. house. Come yes. on, Basilia, you just... That was the question for Carlos, but thank you, Basilia. Carlos. Okay. Yes. Tell me, Carlos, is there a gas station near your house? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay. Thank you. And tell me, Vilma. Yes, teacher. Are there any stores in your neighborhood? Stores, tiendas. Are there any stores in your neighborhood? Yes, teacher. There, there is very store. There in, are. There are store many. 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 Many stores. There are many stores near your house. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Excellent, excellent. There are many stores near her house. Now, that many, we are going to explain it tomorrow. Don't worry. Ese many lo voy a explicar mañana. That's part of tomorrow's class. Okay. okay thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Now, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Humberto. 
tell me are there any workshops workshops i have a problem with my car man are there any workshops near your house no no there no there are okay that's bad my car is broken thank you umberto now let's see what about in your case mario help me out are there any workshops near your house I have a problem with my Microsoft. Uh, repeat me, uh, teacher, please. Are there any workshops near your house? Workshop. You can say uh, workshops or you can say another way to say it is garage. In English, in English, when you um, say garage, in Inglaterra, they say garage. It's the garage. same as a workshop. Okay. 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 Uh, no, 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 they aren't. No, they aren't uh, any workshop. Okay, thank you very much. Wow, what a problem with workshop. Let's see, let's see. Tamara. Hello. Hello, Tamara. Tell me, are there any, any movie theaters near your house? No, there aren't. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. That's bad. It's fun to go to the movies. Thank you very much. Now, I will switch a little bit the question. Le vamos a cambiar un poquito. Karen. Hello, Karen. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Karen, where is the closest... What is the closest... Uh, I'm sorry. What is the closest... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I was reading a, 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 a text here. Estaba leyendo el texto de Mario. Mario, that's tomorrow's class. Es la clase de mañana. Don't worry. Okay? I will explain it tomorrow. Okay. Karen, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Karen, where is, no where is the closest bank to your house? ¿Dónde mm -hmm. está? Uh, for Blocks from my house. Okay. Give me a point of reference, please. Deme un punto de referencia. Next to, in front of, um, near. E, it's uh, well, can you move it? It's um, across from the park. Perfect. Thank you very much. And, that's okay. That's okay. That's enough. That's enough. Because Elizabeth wants to participate. I'm sorry, Karen. Elizabeth. Yes, teacher. Tell me, where is the next, uh, the closest uh, gas station from your house? Where is the closest gas station? Where is the gas station? No, they are. Oh, there are not gas stations near your house? Um, no hay gasolineras? No, no, they are. Oh, that's bad. What about you, Katia? Tell me, are there gas stations in your neighborhood? No, there aren't. Okay, tell me, Katia, where is the closest one? ¿Dónde está la más cercana? Um, there, there are? There's one. There was in Santa Barbara. Okay. Give me a point of reference, please. Give me a point of reference. It's um, um, uh, near the uh, penal apanteos. Okay. Apanteos. Penitentiary or jail? A Panteos jail. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Hello, teacher. 
Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Oscar, look, I have a problem. My motorcycle break down. Se me arruinó la motocicleta. Tell me, where's the closest motorcycle workshop near your house? Well, ¿Cuáles son? Me dice, perdón, teacher. Lo ¿Dónde voy? está? ¿Dónde está el taller más cercano? Oh, eh, a three, tres kilómetros. <laughs> Three kilometers from my house. Three kilometers from my house, yes. Okay, please give me a point of reference. Un punto de referencia. Okay, it's in front of uh, gas stations. Oh, that's easy to find them. Fácil yes, it's very easy. Yeah. Thank you. Reinaldo. Thank you, Oscar. Reinaldo, where do you work, my friend? I work in the Dirección General de Aduanas. Where is that? Is is from off in the factory USA. Okay. San Bartolo. What's the name of the main street? The main street, yes. Main street, uh, how do you, uh, the street Panamericana. Okay, it's on Panamericana Street. It's on Panamericana Street. In front of? In front of the factory uh, USA. USA. Okay, that's the way, look. Oh. The, what is the name of your company again? I'm sorry, ¿cuál es el nombre de su compañía? Uh, Dirección General de Aduanas. Okay. The Dirección General de Aduanas is on Panamericanas Street in front of a USAS Factory. You see? USAS Factory. Okay. Perfect. The Dirección General de Aduanas is on uh, Panamericana Street and in front is in of front of uh, use a factory. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Harleen. Harleen. I think she cannot connect. Okay. Let's see who else is going to help us. Veamos quien nos ayuda. Joselino. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Joselino, where do you work? I am I am work in a closed factory. Okay. Where is that located? Por donde se ubica? Um, is um this on carretera troncal del north okay uh, in front of the uni the pericentro okay Apopa. in front of pericentro Apopa. yes because troncal del north is very long but when he gives me a point yes, of reference uh, i get right into it thank you very much so it's in front of Pericentro and across from the gas station, right? Yes, yes. Sí, hay una gas station, eh? Yes, there's one. I remember. Sí, hay una por ahí. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I have been very vago. He sido muy vago. Okay, let's <laughs> let's see. Thank you, Jose. So guys, do you understand the activity? ¿Quedó clara la actividad? Yes? yes. Okay. This is not quite common in this course. Esto no es muy común en este curso, but you will have a short homework. Van a tener un pequeño homework. For tomorrow, I need all of you to, to text me. Necesito que me manden en un texto or bring it to the class o lo traen a la clase, however you want. Well, it's better if you bring it to the class. The address of, of one place that is close to your house or perhaps your workplace, la dirección de un lugar que esté cerca de casa, un restaurante o su lugar de trabajo. I need you to use on, in, or the, 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 the prepositions of place. Y las preposiciones de lugar, ok? In front of, next to, across from, ok? If you bring it to the class, it's better. Si lo traemos a la clase, mejor. Because that way, you are going to also help your classmates. También le va a ayudar a sus compañeros because they will listen to different ideas, different ways to express it, ok? So, that's going to be a, a little extra. Normalmente en este curso, ustedes normalmente hacen el trabajo solo de la plataforma. 
but I need to, to check that you really understood. Necesito verificar que realmente quedó claro. Okay? So, let's okay. do it for tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. Have teacher, a good I night. Have a, I have a yes, question. Teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I have a question. Uh, today in the afternoon, I practice in the exercise 213. Well, in the listening exercise, welcome back. But in the ask, well, I again, 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 he only brought the ask. Well, uh, is the use uh, did uh, actually or did? Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, last week I listened to partner uh, have a problem too. Two thirteen. Uh, two thirteen. Okay. okay, the exercise 213, there was a listening and the, the problem perhaps was in the first question, where did Jason go? It's a little yes, uh -huh. the question, where, did, where Jason. did Jason go and where did Barbara go? Okay. I, I, my answer was... In, in Jason's uh, case, you just write San Francisco. That's, that's all you need. Only San Francisco. Yes, you can just say San Francisco. Oh, you are and, right uh, only as uh, and, in Bar and, and in Barbara's, but in Barbara's, you have to say she stayed home. She stayed home. Oh, ah, yeah. I, I, just, I, my answer was she did stay at home. No, the did is not used for affirmative. El did no se usa en afirmativas. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, Karen, tell me. She eh, eh, is solo, a mí solo me, me puso correcta, simplemente home. Yes. Batallé un poquito así, pero, pero solo yes. cuando les puse estaba el San if Francisco write, y home. Yeah. If you write home, it's also okay. Okay. Okay, in this one, in where did Barbara go? You can say she stay home, you can say... You can say home, but remember that <clears throat> must be with capitals. Recordemos el uso de las mayúsculas. Because the, the platform asks you to use capitals. Le pide mayúsculas. Okay? Yes, and um, point two. <laughs> yes, also. Well, if there's okay. no more questions. Thank you, teacher. No hay más preguntas? No, no. thanks to you. No problem, no problem. Le eché mal y me lo puse otra vez. Good night. Good night. good night. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. Good night. No. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, bye guys. Take care.